report for um, Monday, April 27th. Um, I was still sick um, coming to the hospital this morning for the chemo. And I came to the hospital and, and uh, wasn't feeling well. But uh, one thing I do want to mention and keep in my memory and keep logged is that um, the week before, they told me that my blood platelets and white cells and things like that were not good. They were borderline for me to even um, get the chemo. So they said, why don't you expect next week to um, probably take the week off, things like that. And then I got sick on Sunday. And coming in here Monday, um, I didn't expect to get the chemo because being sick and knowing that my blood was going to be awful, uh, so I'd probably have to take the week off. So I literally, when I got here, um, I had radiation first. But when I sat in the parking lot, I really I just sat quietly with the Lord and gave it all up to Him. I gave the entire situation to Him. And I did, you know, confess all for myself that Jesus has all authority. Um, I heard, you know, our message Sunday from church about authority and um, the authority of our, our Savior. He has all authority given to Him by the Father in heaven and on earth. And he has authority over this treatment. He has authority over every cell in my body. And by his will, uh, will determine whether the chemo would go forward today or not. And whether I, my blood would be fine. So after releasing that in prayer and trusting the Lord in faith to, um, by his will, to do what he was going to do, I was prepared to go in and, and you know, have him say, no, not today. But I went in and uh, they gave me fluids right away. And I got a bag of fluids, and they took my blood to, you know, for the, the screens, for the, uh, see if I'd be able to get chemo. And uh, they told me again, you know, it's probably not going to be so well, and you, you don't look so hot today, and this and that. And I said, well, let's see what happens. And, you know, I'm here, and um, whether I don't feel good or not, if I'm prepared to get the chemo. And um, they came in, and they came back, and the doctor came in. Uh, they put me in an isolation room because I had had a fever the day before and I didn't clear the fever for 24 hours so they put me in a, with a bed in a chemo room with a bed so I was like chilled out and laying down and getting comfy and getting a big bag of saline um, dripping it like one drop every hour it was like an hour and a half long bag it's insanity so in any case the doctor come in and she's clicking away in her computer and we're talking and she says, how do you feel about getting the chemo today? And she says, um, you know, I'm just looking at some things. And I says, well, I'm prepared to get it. And she says, well, I know last week we were borderline. Let me take a look and see what your results are this week. And uh, <laughs> the results were my blood was better than the week before. Actually in better shape uh, than the week before. And she says, Mike, she says, I don't know how that happens. She says, um, and I said, doctor, I know exactly how it happens. Trust me. And it's super cool. Um, so I said, I'm prepared to get the chemo. And, um, you know, I'm ready to go. Even though I don't feel too hot. She says, well, we're going to wait. I'm like, mm. And she's going to want to wait because we need you to clear a fever for 24 hours. So why don't we do it tomorrow or Wednesday? She said, I said, all right. So that's what we did. I ended up um, scheduling for the next day. I got that bag of um, saline, uh, a bag of fluids. And I headed out. And uh, so, yeah. So my blood that was borderline the previous week, where they said be prepared next week not to be able to get the chemo because your blood's going to be even worse. I come in here knowing that Jesus has all authority over every cell in my body and by his will will determine what, the, what my blood was like. And releasing that to him in prayer, it was his decision that my blood was fine, but it was the doctor's decision that my fever wasn't. So I accept it all. But it's, it's super cool. When you see God actually working in and through you and, and seeing the results of prayer, immediate results of prayer uh, and health issues, um, you know, I know, I'm not going to go into, but I know it's tough about health issues and prayer and um, believing for the Lord to deliver you out of a serious health issue and why he should. Um, we're just, our bodies aren't saved. And uh, I know that. And I know perfect health isn't nowhere guaranteed in the Bible. Um, and I come out of, obviously, a, a teaching that says it was, that we, we're healed of the Lord and that, you know, we're healed by the stripes of Jesus and we're healed, you know, uh, it's just, it's not true. 
And I know that. We're healed by the will of the Father. If he intervenes with divine healing and a serious health issue, he will. And if he doesn't, then he won't. And our reward isn't good health. Our reward is to be glorified in his presence. And I think every word I've ever heard, every scripture, every sermon I've ever heard that has been planted in my heart and convicted me of that, I am blessed to have that conviction that my reward is not perfect health. My reward is to be glorified in front of my Savior someday. And um, so it's pretty cool. So that is it for Monday the 27th. My appetite is trash. Um, I'm super fatigued. I'm tired as anything right now. Uh, leaving here on the 27th. Um, we're going to go home, try to get some rest, and then get prepared to come back here tomorrow um, for radiation and then chemo.